Hi everyone, uh, I'm Jun Mar. I'm product scientist from product graph team uh, at Amazon. So today I'm going to talk about our paper uh, about building knowledge graph of Amazon products. So as you know, at Amazon, we sell a lot of products to customers and we have very big inventory. It's a compelling idea that we can build a knowledge graph for all the Amazon products. So we can better serve the, uh, uh, the search applications and better recommendations and better answer customer questions. So the knowledge graph about a product will look like this. Uh, we have this product here. We have this uh, uh, associated attributes, we have the attribute values. Um, it looks pretty simple, but if you think about how many products we have and how many the, uh, the attribute values we have, and for all these links, uh, are they correct, not correct, are they complete or not complete? So it's a much more challenging problem than you thought. So what exactly are these challenges? Um, the first one is a structure sparsity. Um, so ideally, when you build a knowledge graph, you want to have those attributes, uh, values, or field from some uh, structure of data. But in reality, we don't. For many products, we just have descriptions, and you have to figure out what type, size, color is. So that's the first challenge. Second challenge is uh, com a domain complexity, uh, which means you have millions of product types with various relationships. Look at here for this product, you have clothes, furniture, grocery, and for grocery, you have the snacks, drinks, seafood. And for these types, if you think about the relations, there are subtypes. One um, product of type is actually a subtype of another one, and some product types might be synonyms for each other, and some types actually might be overlapping with each other. This all makes the problem more complex. And uh, we have the product type variety challenge here. So what it means is uh, there are different values vocabulary for different product types. Take one example. So here uh, we're looking at the attribute called size, and size means different things for uh, for different product type. For TV, it means 58 inch. For uh, tea box, the size is 48 count. Uh, for a coffee bag, it's 20 ounce. So that means you cannot build a single model that handles all the product types together, uh, because the vocabulary changes of product type changes. It's very challenging. So we have a long way to go. There are a lot of challenges. Our solution is the autonome, is a self-driving technology traction. Um, so here's a high level intuition. So what you start with are these taxonomy, existing taxonomy. Uh, we have user logs, basically what a customer uh, clicks, what customer buys, and what they're querying for, searching for. We have a catalog. So the catalog data is not uh, um, perfect. So we have the wrong values. We also have some, for example, the product two. Uh, it doesn't have uh, flavor and color. So through the auto know, we're gonna build uh, improve the knowledge graph uh, so if we compare this uh, taxonomy here with the, uh, with the existing taxonomy, you see we have a new uh, concept identified, the pretzels. The pretzels actually uh, is a type of snacks. This is something we identified. We fixed the value for product one, and for product two, we added the values. And also identify the chocolate and chalk are synonyms. And then with this better product graph, we can actually um, um, answer the question better and uh, better serving the exact match searches and also um, explainable rec uh, recommendations. So the self-driving uh, has these four features, automatic, uh, of course, not surprising, we're using machine learning models to leverage the data itself. Uh, it's all annotation free. We use a lot of uh, distance supervision, uh, semi-supervision to um, remove the burden of uh, annotates. And uh, one size fits all. We love transfer learning, so we can build one big model then can face different multi dom multiple domains and also we have the self-guidance, self which means uh, uh, we look at the customer behavior data and try to figure out uh, uh, new types, new concepts, and new attributes by itself. So here is the architecture of the self-driving uh, collection. So besides the input data and out output, we have the two suits. The ontology suits have taxonomy enrichment and the relation discovery. Uh, taxonomy enrichment means to find the new concepts, uh, new attributes. And the relation discovery is going to be associated with the existing taxonomy. Uh, we also have the data suit. We have the data imputation, uh, which extracts values from the titles, uh, queries. We have data cleaning parts, which clean the data. And we have the synonym discovery, which find the synonym attributes values. So I'm, not, I'm going to skip the technical details. Um, you should look, for, uh, look at the details in paper. Uh, so these experiments, we tested on four major product domains. There are over 30 million products, over 1 billion triples. You can see the precision recall and F measure or had improved significantly. We also uh, um, reduced the defect rates. So autonome is a collaboration between uh, Amazon scientists uh, and engineers, and also uh, researchers from uh, a couple of universities. Uh, you're welcome to check our paper. 
and uh, send us email if you have questions.